What's up America? Well today I'm gonna explain a little bit of the of my experience with uh, someone who got involved with drugs so if you watch the the previous video about um, when I, what I was talking about uh, drugs or addictions that you might have or anybody that you know might have um, this is what I experienced um, and I think, it's, I think it's really bad um, we as a parents don't have the need to deal with that kind of stuff but um, if someone in your family is doing it of course it's gonna drag you with them because uh, what else you cannot you cannot cut them off or just forget about it but um yeah i knew um one guy on a on a nursery where i buy all my where i buy my supplies for landscaping he died because he was drinking all the time so so thanks to alcohol he's gone um, and his family probably in mexico they have to deal with the pain and um, well, just the pain for losing someone uh, someone they love uh, the they love and probably he was a father and probably he i'm pretty sure he had a kid and wife and they have to deal with the loss of that person because uh, he chose to drink uh, and i guess he never listened uh, just the way i was talking about explaining and finally he loses life so that's what i one of the things i experienced that i saw and um it really sad they that he died on the job, um, not when he, not while he was working, but on the night, I mean, he was gone, so. And um, somebody else, uh, one of my ankles in Mexico, he, he was drinking a lot, and and um, he got to the point where, point where he couldn't even uh, afford the real stuff to drink, um, like, I don't know if it's real or not, but um, like beer or alcohol or whatever he can buy at the drugstore or whatever. Um, but um, he got to the point where he was drinking uh, the alcohol for for curing or cleaning uh, wounds or whatever. Uh, so he was drinking the stuff, and finally he lost his life. Um, but and a lot of people told my uncle, hey, "You need to stop drinking. Uh, you need to stop. You you still have kids. Uh, uh, you still have um, your wife. I mean, uh, you have to." You have to be here for your grandkids and stuff like that, and never listen. So he's gone, um, thanks to alcohol addictions. And uh, the other one, uh, uh, probably, probably there's more, but the one that was uh, this kind of personal, and that I was living uh, with it, and I was dealing with it, and I was, um, it was in my, or my daily life. It was in my life. I mean, it was my steps on. Uh, he's still alive. It's not dead yet. I hope. Uh, I hope it's not gonna. I hope they. He can change and and save his life and just die when he's old, not when he's still young. But yeah, I mean, he he got involved in drugs. And I don't know how. Probably in school. I assume in school. What else? And that makes that makes me think like, what kind of parents are? If those kids, those the kids they bring drugs to school, it makes me think what kind of parents they have. I wonder if those parents are doing drugs too. Or I wonder if those parents knew they, that he's their kid or whatever. They, his, their daughter, their son uh, is bringing drugs to other kids in school. Um, I don't know what kind of parents they are, but um, I just hope I don't screw with my kids. But um, yeah, he started doing drugs in school, and uh, I assume, and then it got worse from there. I mean, he was using more and more and more, and whatever, whatever new stuff come up, it was who was trying all kinds of stuff so um and he was dragging the whole family with them because uh, every time he called because he was in jail every time he called because because he was on the street every call every time he called because uh he went to the hospital or whatever and he was dragging us i mean he was dragging my wife my wife me um the whole family because um i mean everybody knew um and we we I feel like we don't deserve that. I mean, why? I mean, it was not our choice. It was not our business. I mean, we never chose to do that, but we were living that lifestyle. 
thanks to my steps on and, um, and if they watch the video and uh, listen to this to this video I mean I don't care I mean it is what it is um, I know a lot of parents and special on my case um, when he's around and my wife sometimes is like yeah just don't say anything I mean be nice to him and whatever all kinds of stuff like that like 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 almost holding you back for for speaking or saying whatever you want to say or whatever you feel that like you want to say but you don't you, you're not able to say because you don't want to hear hurt some feelings or whatever what about our feelings what about our life I mean I don't think that's fair but um yeah that's my experience uh, and um, I never never thought I, that I was gonna go to hospitals to to watch my steps on uh, the kid that was uh, that I saw growing up that was raising the that was um, providing for him that was um, doing things for him I mean I mean I don't know I guess just like every parent I mean uh, when he when he was uh, getting older he he decided to play guitar so he was uh, he was talking he was, he was always talking about music so I went and bought my steps on a, a guitar and and whatever he needs to all their stuff to so he can start learning how to play, play music um, he was a good kid I mean he's still I think he's still good he's still a good person I mean he's really smart uh, but um, I don't know I mean I don't get it why smart people make really dumb choices I don't get it don't get it I'm really dumb I guess I guess dumb people don't make uh, dumb choices because I'm really dumb so but uh, and I still, I still make bad choices too. Uh, to so I'm, I'm not, I'm not an innocent or whatever. I'm still guilty. But um, yeah. And um, when he was, when it was time for him, for him to drive, um, I, I went and bought him a car. I bought him a car, and I was paying for gas, uh, uh, insurance, uh, even cell phone. I was helping. I was helping my stepson because that's what you do, right? You, a parent, you, you help your kids. You. You do whatever you can to push him on life so it can do better, right? So it can succeed, so it can um, make it on life. Um, uh, but um, I don't know what, what went wrong with him, what uh, problems he was having. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, I don't think I'm allowed to speak about the life that he uh, that he was uh, having that he used to have before me. Um, I don't know if that's what uh, drove him to, to the end, to the deep end, to do dumb stuff like that. That um, no idea. But uh, it's nothing that I that he learned from me or or his mom. I mean, I don't, I don't do any any drugs or smoke or drink or anything. I try to stay out of all that that kind of stuff because I know it's bad for me, um, for my body and for my kids to see me doing. Kind of stuff like that so um, yeah that's uh, that's why I was um, talking about um, the price that you want to pay for doing drugs or doing whatever you name it so yeah I mean I was um, we were paying the price we were not even doing anything uh, feels, feel like we, I feel like uh, when I say it again I feel like we don't even deserve it um, I don't even deserve going to to jail to help him uh, get out of jail. Um, I don't even deserve um, helping helping him when I was when I was trying to do my own thing. But um, I mean, you're family. You're supposed to, right? Nobody else is gonna help someone that's not your kid or is not your family. Uh, they might, but it's not the same. Um, but um, yeah, he ended up living on living on the streets, uh, homeless. He was doing all kinds of stuff. I mean stealing drugs um even going to the house he was scaring my little kids he was screaming and yelling and cussing to mom to his mom he was um, all kinds of stuff probably you already know probably you are dealing with that kind of that kind of stuff or or you went through something like that so you understand and um but um Every time I saw him, or every time I was able to talk to him, I, I always offer him uh, the chance to 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 come back home and um, get clean or whatever. I mean, I always told him, hey, if you are ready to live this life and um, get a job and start living right, 
I'm gonna help you. I always say that, and I, I think I'm gonna keep saying it. But uh, if I don't see any change, I, I mean, no way. I mean, if, when he's ready, I'll be there. But um, now he's um, he's in jail. I mean, probably I think he's gonna get out soon. Uh, no idea. He might, but uh, I hope uh, this that this is gonna be the thing. This is gonna change his life uh, for for better future for him and for peace, a little peace for us. So we can be like, okay, it was it was worth it? Uh, all the hell that we went through, it was worth it. Uh, he's doing good now. It's it's, it's um it's working. It's making his own life or whatever. If it was if it's gonna be like that, I mean, it was worth it. I mean, but um on the moment, I was I was feeling like I was feeling like the victim. I was like, I don't deserve this. I mean. We don't deserve this. My kids don't deserve this, and my wife don't deserve this. I mean, I mean that's that's how I was feeling, and I think that's normal. Everybody will feel like that. I mean, I assume, unless you're not a, you're not a human with feelings. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's why I was talking about addictions uh, because I experienced something like that with um, people that I know, and uh, especially with my someone in my own family. So, um, but and, and there's more. Um, but um seems like you cannot talk like really like free like open like 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 with whatever you have i feel like always we have to be careful with what we say what we want to say because uh, even if it's someone in your family like um name it, name it i mean your brother your sister your mom your dad or whatever you don't want to say like oh, okay this this is what i know because uh, the on the life of my sister she was doing this she was doing that she was doing whatever no because um i don't know we are like i don't know why we don't do it i mean it's it's true it's life we're dealing with it we're living that kind of life so but we don't we don't say it because okay you just don't say it because i mean don't don't uh, she's gonna she's gonna start uh driven away from us she's gonna uh, she's not gonna talk to us anymore if you say something is she's not gonna talk to mom she's gonna talk to dad because she's gonna be uh whatever there are a lot of things that we cannot say because dumb things like that and i and I've, i don't i don't understand why i mean um if they are old enough to do to do and and decide to do dumb things i mean why we cannot talk about it we can and uh the worst part is like all those all those people are really blind i mean if you tell them hey uh, last night you were really drunk and you were falling all over the place and uh, like uh, you were m making a mess and uh, or you went to jail or whatever or you ended up in the hospital or whatever they don't say they don't admit it they don't say yes you're right i was that was dumb on me this they don't they don't acknowledge it they just act like victims victims um uh, they blame something else no that was not i mean that was not the alcohol that was not the wine that was not the whatever um that was my blood pressure that was my um medicine that i take uh, that was um they blame something else but they don't acknowledge them that's really sad them they're grown up so i mean just own it you're doing bad i mean just don't do it again huh? or if you do it again i mean just be honest i mean but um in the meantime you're gonna be dragging your family I mean, you don't, you don't know, you have no idea how dumb you look when you're really drunk. You have no idea. You have no idea how, when they have anyone in your family have to take you to the doctor and pay the doctor right there. They don't even have to spend that money because you, because you choosing to do something dumb. I mean, just think about it. They don't need to. Let your family rest, let your family have peace, let your family enjoy life. I mean, help, you, help your family don't just uh, make it worse for them so um, that's a little bit explanation um, that's why my experience so that's why I was talking about uh, drugs and uh, addictions whatever is um, killing you and and the worst part drug dragging your family dragging the people that you love um, but um, just uh, that's it give it a thumbs up like always like always subscribe uh, if you like it or not and like uh, let's be let's be grown up and let's let's make it to the point where we can talk
openly. I mean, why not? It's wrong, whatever you're doing, so change it. If you don't like it, don't do it anymore. All right, see you in the next one.